Hello, I'm Justin, I'm an engineer at Transdome, and today I'd like to talk to you about a project that I've been working on. So this unit is supplied to one of our uh, long-standing customers, and they take um, some quite standardised designs from us for their um, general uh, supply and um, installation. However, for this particular project, we um, have had to deal with a number of hurdles, which have um, opted for uh, a non-standard approach to their usual design parameters. Uh, so the usual design consists of um, AC uh, dry coolers. However, uh, in this particular uh, instance, the site has got quite limited uh, footprint. So we've stacked, we've had to uh, maintain their standard uh, footprint in terms of um, the cooler size. However, uh, upon further information being available uh, on site, we have found that the uh, actual intended installation point for the coolers is being sited very close to a chapel. So as a result, noise has become very important for uh, these units. And so we've had to adapt the standard designs to uh, incorporate as much um, noise mitigation as possible. So uh, the first protocol for that was to um, update the, the standard proposals to move from their old AC designs to um, the AC fans that you see on here. On larger units, that tends to um, be the first protocol that we'll go to for uh, mitigating design because the EC motors gives us better control of the um, airflow and uh, generally gives us better uh, noise performance uh, for any given size. Now as we've been limited on the um, actual footprint we haven't been able to um, make the unit any bigger so we've had to maintain the same airflow so whilst that's reduced some noise um, it's not the best that we can do. So the next protocol um, is we have had to, we have um, taken use of uh, attenuation so that's these uh, polis attenuators you see here, fitted before and after the fans. Uh, and what those do is those take the um, airflow away uh, from the unit and therefore and um, dampen the um, vibration and sound of the um, motors, giving you better noise performance. So as you can see, there is um, about a diameter before and after the fan is the size of the um, attenuators. And so to accommodate those, we've had to um, have the extended leg frames that you can sort of uh, see here. Uh, just to make sure there's enough clearance below the attenuators to allow sufficient airflow through the unit. In conjunction, both of these um, uh, approaches to mitigating the noise, we've knocked off around 10 decibels worth of uh, noise for this particular installation. Thank you for your time uh, for this walk around, and uh, I hope I'll have something interesting to show you again next time. Bye.